from the Blue Ridge Parkway. Thank you. Blue Ridge Parkway. Thank you, Blue Ridge Parkway. <laughs> yes, we are still here. It has been 14 days. Blessé Bobo. Papa Bobo. Yeah, Bruno got hurt on his thumb like really badly, actually. <laughs> Um, anyway, we have been here for 14 days. You guys are so distracting. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to do this video on my own. <laughs> uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway is really cool, right guys? It, but in less than a week, we are going to be in Asheville, North Carolina. We have rented a house on Airbnb because... <sighs> Bruno has, to Bruno has to do some work to the bus. Since the bus is soon going to change, I sort of thought we should probably give you a tour of the bus, what it looks like now. The tires are the things on your car that make contact with the road. The tires are the things on your car that make contact with the road. The tires are the things on your car that make contact with the road. The car is the thing on the road that takes you back to your abode. Baby for welcome. Please come in. <laughs> oh, watch your head. This used to be a school bus door, like the two doors that open uh, like that. So we actually replaced the entrance door. Got a nice screen and everything. Come on in. So uh, here's our bus. I should start by saying Bruno did the entire thing. From the beginning to the end of this bus, it was designed and built by my lovely husband. So maybe we should start with the area behind you, Bruno. This is what he likes to refer to as the garage. It's basically the disaster zone. It's kind of like where we shove everything that we don't have space for when we're parked somewhere. But it's also, of course, the driving area, driver's seat, a passenger seat that we installed ourselves because there was just the one seat and in between the two is the engine of the vehicle and here's a better view of the cabin when we're actually driving when it's not the garage seats passenger seat and there we go okay we have some storage space in here mainly for like larger items um, usually it's our camping chair and tables uh, baby stroller bathtub that kind of thing now here we have our kitchen table underneath both of these benches is lots of storage so all you have to do to get to the storage space is sort of pull off these cushions and then there is a very simple wooden system with like lots of space inside. So this one has mostly Phoenix's blankets, baby carriers, and our laundry material. And the other one has food, backpacks, yoga mats, that kind of thing. We must be the only RVers who have a library, right? Pretty cool. Um, on the other side here, we've got an amazing kitchen. This kitchen here was pieced together from Ikea, both sides, this side and this side, and then Bruno installed it. We picked up this uh, stove and oven at an RV salvage place, and this is gas powered, so the gas is actually connected through the back and underneath the chassis on the outside we have two big gas bottles i don't know how big they are but they're pretty big right mm. oh and so let's see some nice features of the kitchen are these spice jars that are under 
uh, some food storage. That was a cool Pinterest idea. We've got a fruit and vegetable tray or basket, I should say, connected to the wall so it doesn't move when we drive. Le Petit Prince, the little prince, which is Bruno's Bible. <laughs> Here we have like lots of space for food. We've got utensils, more kitchen things here like salad bowls, plates, glasses, and below we have pots and pans, a blender, coffee grinder, etc. On this side is our sink. You will soon see the spot where we have our big water uh, container. So the water container comes here and we've got cold water only, but it's water. Underneath here, garbage and more storage space and cleaning supplies, which now that Phoenix is soon gonna be able to open this, we're gonna have to deal with, even though we have some sort of like latch system already so that the drawers don't open when we're driving. I think on this side, we need something stronger. Whereas on the other side, we're good. Here is a fridge. I'm just gonna put Phoenix down here so I can open the fridge for you. This is a solar uh, fridge, so it runs uniquely on our solar panels. And it's really big. Try to keep it close as much as possible to preserve energy, but uh, I'm very happy that I have a huge fridge, but of course, if you followed a couple of our videos, you will know that we had some weather problems where it wasn't very sunny and we actually needed to put ice in the fridge because we had no solar energy left. So what else? Am I forgetting anything in the kitchen? Oh yes. Here we have a little makeshift rack for um, uh, sprouting seeds because I like to sprout seeds. So these are about two and a half days of sprouting. We are almost ready to eat them. And Bruno made this sort of medicine cabinet. So inside is a little mirror and all of our beauty products. Oh. <laughs> and I suppose we shouldn't forget the the Himalayan salt lamp. I think we must also be the only bus on the road that has one of these, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess if you come to the bedroom, might be difficult, but um, we have sort of like the bathroom that separates the living space from the sleeping space. So here is a shower. We just bought like a Home Depot shower and we built the walls around it. Um, so it's got a very basic sort of system, but it's got a shower head and the water falls into our uh, gray water tank. Why? Do you want to go in the bed? You want to go in the bed? Whoosh. Yeah. Um, let me just open this. This is the bathroom door. What's wrong? Can you get, come this way? I don't know if you can see. So this is the bathroom for emergencies mostly. We've got Phoenix's cloth diapers up here and where we put the diapers when they're dirty. And then this is sort of our dry toilet that we built ourselves. We purchased the seat, which sort of separates the liquids from the solids. But apart from that, underneath it's literally just a bucket with sawdust. So that's a very, very simple toilet. Can't get easier than that, right? And then in the back is the bedroom. So we have a nice big double-sized bed. Do you need a toy or something? Because Mama's not paying attention to you. Huh? Do you need a toy? Since Mama's not paying attention to you. So our bed, Phoenix's bed, Underneath this bed, we have tons of storage space, and this is actually where the, uh, like, I think 60 gallon water tank is. And we just fill the water from behind the vehicle. And Bruno has all the tubes set up to both the sink and the shower. 
the shower we do have hot water I don't know if you you I don't know if you'll be able to show them this in the video but there is behind the shower wall is sort of like a gas water heater so that makes the shower water hot but we've opted to keep the sink just cold water only just because it was easier to connect that way right Bruno mm -hmm. Oh, and that, true, that's very important. That's where Bruno's solar batteries kind of have their grand central station where he has all the connections, where we check the levels. And then we've, we have lots of storage space back here for clothing. That's Bruno's side, that's my side. We are even lucky enough to have bedside tables, which is amazing. So we have more storage there for more clothing. And we even also have a few more storage containers on the side, which is where Phoenix's clothes are. So there we go. Um, fans, we have one fan over the bed, one fan in the kitchen, and one fan up where we drive. And what? Oh yeah, Bruno wants to show you the lamps. There we go. And we also have the strip lights here, which can get dimmer and brighter. Woohoo! So, um, I think that's it for our, at least the inside of the bus. We have a few more things we can show you on the outside. And then I'm going to have to start paying attention to this little guy because he does not like me looking at the camera. <laughs> I totally forgot to film the entrance. So we have here like uh, by the door our jackets and below we can put all our shoes. And on the other side we have a space. <laughs> for keys and our broom sunglasses and some artwork from a family friend before I started traveling to Senegal so oh <laughs> okay we're back outside and I just had a few extra features that we wanted to show you first of all is this amazing awning that we've just second hand and actually had installed for us so it's probably one of the very few things that Bruno did not do himself but judging by the size of it you can understand why um, back here we have a bike rack one bike only at the moment but we'll get a second one when Phoenix is able to ride with us behind the bike is the opening for adding water into our tank what else on this side, you can see we have a, um, what do you call it, <laughs> ladder that gets really tiny. It's only about two feet long normally. And Bruno uses this to get up on the roof so that he can um, clean the solar panels and make sure everything's okay. We have three solar panels up on the roof. Oh, I should have mentioned that the two batteries, solar batteries that we have are under the bed inside on either side of the water tank. Um, down here we actually had some storage cabinets made in Mexico last spring. Um, they're under the chassis of the vehicle and on this side Bruno it's mostly like a spare tire and some other construction mm -hmm. type stuff mm -hmm. and on the other side is the gas, the two gas tanks and I think that's it. There used to be the gray water tank, but you moved it, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. So that's about all. That's This is our big blue bus, we call her, or big blue. And pretty shortly, she's going to be undergoing a few more renovations and updates, mostly baby related stuff. But I will tell you about those things as we work on them. And I will be sure to videotape our handyman in action. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round over the busy street. <laughs>